Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll be learning how to calculate simple interest. With that said, let's get into it. So to begin, when calculating simple interest, we need to look at the formula. And the formula is as follows. I is equal to PRT. That is P times R times T. And let's take a look at what each of these individual variables mean. So we'll start with I. I stands for interest, and that's just the interest that's going to be earned on any given amount of money that you have. This is the money that's earned on top of the original amount. If it's money you owe, then the interest would be the additional money you owe on top of the original amount. And if it's money that you're earning, then the interest would be the amount you earn above the initial amount that you invested. Speaking of the initial amount, that's what P stands for. P is principal, and principal is the initial amount that you start with. Next, we have R, which is the interest rate, and it's always written as a decimal. So for example, an interest rate of 13% would be written as 0.13. And again, if you're not sure how to write it as a decimal, you just take the percentage and divide it by 100. So 13 divided by 100 is 0.13, or 6%, for example, is six divided by 100, which is 0 0.06. Finally, we have T, which is time. And I know that sounds a little ambiguous and it's not specified to be years or months or days because every unique example could have a different unit for time. Normally, an interest rate is calculated annually and therefore the time would be a year, but this isn't always the case. This is the number of times the interest is applied. I think the best way to explain this is actually gonna be to look at an example. So let's do that next. Let's say that you invest $1,200 in a savings account that earns a simple interest rate of 4% per year. How much interest will you have earned in three years? So when looking at a question like this, you need to find your P, your R, and your T. So first we need to know what is the principal or the starting amount, and we can see it right here, it's $1,200. Then we need to find our interest rate, which we can find right here, it's 4%. And then finally, we need to know how much time has passed. So in this case, we see it's 4% per year and the time is three years. Now that I have all of this information, I can just substitute it in to calculate for my interest, which is my unknown. Upon doing that, I get interest is equal to 1,200, my principal, times 0 0.04. Again, that's 4% as a decimal. So four divided by 100 times three. And if I simplify this further, I get the interest is $144. This means that in three years, at a simple interest rate of 4%, I will have earned an additional $144 on top of the $1,200 I originally invested. And that right there is my interest. Now let's take a look at a slightly harder example because I think that might help show how applicable this formula can be. So suppose that you borrow $40,500 to buy a car, and the loan has a simple interest rate of 6.5% per year, and the loan term is 5.5 years. How much total interest do you pay over the five years? And additionally, what is the total amount that you owe at the end of the loan? And this means that I need to calculate what my principal and my interest are combined. So again, let's find our P, R, and T. Here we can find that the principal, the original amount that I borrowed is 40,500. Next, I can find that the interest rate is 6.5%. And finally, the term is 5.5 years. So substituting all of this into my formula, I get I, the interest amount, is the principal times the rate times the number of years, and that's 40,500 times 0 0.065, that's 6.5 over 100 times 5.5. And then simplifying this, I get the interest amount is $14,478.75. And that's just the interest. That's the amount of money I owe on top of the $40,500 that I originally owed before the interest was applied. So in order to find my total amount owed, I simply add these numbers up. I take my interest, I take my principal, and I sum them up, and that's going to give me a total of $54,978.75. And that is the total amount that I will end up paying for that car when the simple interest of 6.5% is applied at 5.5 years. Now, normally something like a car loan is actually done with compound interest, and that's a totally different video topic. But if you're interested in that, then just let us know in the comment section. We hope that you found this video helpful, and if you did, let us know by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and of course, let us know in the comment section what sort of economic topics or homework questions you'd like to see us cover in the future. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll catch you in the next.